速发展，然后也许就是说会代完全可以代替香港，然后成为一个窗口。呃，因为深圳这种发展的速度来说，就是让我们来看，我认为它其实是。应该是发展，我觉得是其实是超过了中国，呃，很多城市的。那这其中，我认为其实还是有一点，其实是包括可能，呃，上海和上海和北京，它的这种现代化的这种感觉。呃，如果你是你本，你是你是不是你来深圳有多久了？两年，两年。那在这两年里面，你有没有感觉就是深圳有没有变了一些？啊、哦，我感觉深圳就是距离，就是距离你上上就是最早的一次来。哦，最早的一次来，我最早一次来是我六年级的六年级，六年级还是四年级的时候来的。那个时候我们的中心城市是罗湖，啊，中心。然后那个时候南山都是一不毛之地，然后也没有想过说要在前海置业。就不会想到这些，但是你看现在都已经二十年，可能都已经过去了。然后，现在南山和前海就变成了，呃，一个比较比较比较繁华的地方，然后以及，呃，房价也是最高的地方。然后我觉得就是整个深圳，也可以看到它确实它整个疆域也有拓拓宽。对，所以你认为这些都是比较。好的变强吗？好的改变吗？这说明越来越多的人，呃，来到了深圳，以及愿意留在深圳，所以说，啊、呃，深圳才会，就是扩容嘛。嗯、呃，这个东西也是，也是，也是时代必须要承载的东西，因为它需要发展，以及越来越多的人觉得深圳是个机会，所以才会导致现在这样。好的，谢谢你的配合。好，谢谢 ，Thanks for your participating. Yeah, bye bye everyone. First, from this interview, I learned what immigrants think about Shenzhen. They think the development Shenzhen of Shenzhen is very fast, and they think this is well keep. The speed of develop immigrants also think Shenzhen is very busy to do. It's very busy, so they don't have too much time to do their own things. This makes people uncomfortable, and it is hard to adapt to this lifestyle. The challenge of Cassie is to adapt to Shenzhen's daily lifestyle. It is a challenge for her because when she came back from Australia, there are different with the quality of life、uh, between Shenzhen and Australia. The difference is the that she can earn more money in Shenzhen, but. Living in Shenzhen is expensive and spend more money. The positive part of moving to Shenzhen it is that Cassie can live with her family, and she can have a job in her family's company. She is able to have high salary. And learn more skill in Shenzhen. She can't do the basic thing in Australia. The difference between Cassie's immigration experience and after teachers and I'm fine too is education background. In after teachers and I'm fine too, the character do. Not have a very high education, but Cassie does.、Uh, having an education make immigration easier for Cassie because it is easy to find a job and have better living.
in my interview perspective is from a person that has studied in Australia. Her education is very high and she is from a wealthy family. I am missing perspective from immigrants who are from other parts of China, don't have very good education and they are not from wealthy family. These migrants, they don't have comfort comfortable life because they have to use part time to find a job and don't have much salary.